oggi celebriamo questa vittoria in Paolo Yun. Today, we commemorate and celebrate this victory gained through Paul Yun Ji Chu and the 123 martyr companions. Their names now stand alongside those of the holy martyrs Saint Andrew Kim De Gon, Saint Paul Chong Ha Sang, and companions. All of them lived and died for Christ. And now they reign with him in joy and glory. The Korean Catholic Church venerates 103 saints and 124 blessed currently. Pope John Paul II canonized the 103 saints in 1984. Pope Francis beatified the 124 blessed in 2014. Father Thomas Che yang -up, the second Korean priest dubbed as a martyr of sweat, was proclaimed venerable, paving the way to his beatification the Vatican recognizes a miracle. Furthermore, the Korean Church is currently promoting the process of beatification and canonization for Servant of God John Baptist E. Byuk and his 132 companions, Servant of God Bishop Francis Borja Hong Young Ho and his 80 companions, as well as Servant of God Ebert Boniface Shin Sang Won and his 37 companions. John Baptist E. Byuk and his 132 companions were all lay people and killed for their faith under the Chosen Dynasty. Along with John Baptist E. Byuk, who played a critical role in the early Korean faith community, his companions, including Francis Xavier Kwan Il Shin and Ambrose Kwan Chal Shin, were killed for their faith in 1785 and 1879. Bishop Francis Borja Hong Young Ho and his 80 companions are witnesses to the faith in the modern and present age. This broad group ranges from the martyrs of the 1901 Jeju massacre to the victims of persecution following the division of Korea. It included 20 foreign missionary priests and three foreign sisters. Servant of God Abbot Boniface Shin Sang Won and his 37 companions were killed by the communist regime of North Korea during the Korean War era. As they served in the territorial abbacy of Tukwon and Hamhung Apostolic Vicariate. Likewise, the spirit of martyrdom in the Church of Korea reignited during the era of the Korean War, also called the Second Persecution, and it is still in us. The choices and actions of our martyrs during the brutal violence and murder of war teach us as excellent teaching and example. Why should we remember and honor our martyrs? As role models of the Christian life, they guide us on the way we should go. Our ancestors who met Jesus Christ opened their hearts to Him and discovered the truth of the Gospel. Against the hierarchical society at the time, they chose to live a life of fraternal charity. And they did not abandon their faith even during persecution. They trusted in God, hoped for God, and loved God until death. Indeed, we no longer face persecution nowadays that demand the shedding of our blood. However, the culture of extreme egoism, waves of materialism, and hedonism call us to a different form of martyrdom. Therefore, we need to have the courage and decision like martyrs to respond the evangelical life in our home, church, and society. The Lord calls all of us to holiness, each one in his or her own way. In the parent that raises a child with boundless love, in the man and the woman that work earnestly to support the family, and in the elderly religious that never lose their smile. We witness holiness in our neighbors who continue forward on their daily journey. The holiness shown by the martyr is not unachievable but the testimony given by the people of God in their way. Therefore, we can follow their footsteps in the life of believing in and following Christ differently in modern times. To believe in Christ, to trust in Him fully, 
and to follow Him may be the desire of our mothers in heaven to us. All the Korean mother saints, pray for us.